This is section 6.7, exponential and logarithmic models. Um, the exponential function that we'll uh, particularly be looking at in this section is a sub zero <clears throat> times e raised to the kt. Normally we would go a times b raised to the t for an exponential, but when you have e, uh, you're dealing with a continuous exponential as in, in uh, such things as half-life and decay and as far as um, decay within half-life and stuff like that. So uh, just know traditionally we would deal with this equation, but when we're dealing with half-life and decay, we have to use this. Here's its characteristics, okay? If k is greater than zero, it's increasing. If k is less than zero, it is decreasing, okay? So if it's positive, it's increasing. If it's negative, it is uh, de uh, decreasing or decaying. So the first problem that we come to us is a tumor is injected um, with 3.5 grams of iodine, which has a decay rate of 1.05% per day. Um, Write an exponential model representing the amount of iodine remaining in the tumor after T days. Find the <clears throat> the amount of iodine that would remain in the tumor after 60 days. Well, the first thing that we have to do is we have to uh, have to write an equation. The equation that we're going to use in this one is a times b raised to the t. Well, we need to find out what the base is. But they gave us a rate, and that rate as a decimal would be moving it two places, so 0 0.0105, okay? Now, it's decaying, right? So a base that is decaying is 1 minus r. So base is equal to 1 minus 0 0.1. So the base is equal to um, 0 0.9895, okay? Now, the A, <clears throat> the initial amount right here, is going to be the 3.5. So the A is going to be the 3.5, and T is going to be in days, okay? Now, so the equation would be this. It'd be uh, 3.5 times 0 0.9895 raised to the t. Okay, that's the equation. Now, if we're going to see how much iodine is still left within um, 60 days, then we would do this. Uh, F of 60 would be a 3.5 times 0 0.9895 raised to the 60 power. And when you calculate that, you get uh, 1.85. And folks, it sits the nearest tenth, so that is approximately 1.9 grams of iodine. Okay, now that's a look. That's the uh, original exponential equation that we normally look at. Okay, so just just kind of be aware of that. Um, we we'll, we'll go to this this one right here in a uh, um, couple more problems. Okay. All right, a research. A research student is working with a culture of bacteria that doubles in size every 15 minutes. The initial population count was four, bacteri uh, four bacteria. Well, the easiest thing to do is, here's your A, right, times B raised to the T. Well, the B, well, it doubles, so the B is, is well, there's a 2, right? Um, it says it doubles, so it'd be 2, but it doubles every 15 minutes. 
right? But we're going to write an exponential equation representing this situation in terms of hours. So 15 minutes is 15 out of 60, which is 0.25, right? That'd be 0.25 of an hour. So uh, in order to get our base, we know that it doubles every 0.25 of an hour, right? So here's what we're about to do. This is the easiest thing to do. Um, so if it's going to double, um, so we'll do 2 raised to the 1 point or 1 over 0.25. This is how we're going to get our new base because every um, 15 minutes, it, it's going to double. When, when we do that, um, we get our base to be 16. Okay, what that equals is, is 2 raised to 0.25 is 16. So here's our equation. Uh, A times B raised to T. Well, A is 4 times 16 raised to the t. And if we plug this in, we have 4 times 16 because we want 3 hours, right? There's that. And when you evaluate that, you come out with 16,384 bacteria. Okay, so this little technique right here is uh, a way to get a base without having to uh, um, rewrite it and do a bunch of uh, stuff. Now, the other, I like doing it like this. The, you can see some people, they'll, they'll do it like... Uh, Here's four times. Well, it doubles, but it doubles what? Okay. So that right there will still give you the same answer. Okay. And, and you put the T time over the 0.25 because it's hours. Every 15 minutes, it's how many hours, I mean 15 minutes or in that hour that it doubles. Okay, if that made sense. But I, I tend to do it this way uh, that I got circled, so I, I like that a little bit better, right? Um, okay, the rodent population in the city is currently estimated at 50,000. If it's expected to double, like that, see it double? You know, that's two, right, every 10 years, right? So um, when will the population reach 1 million? Around to the nearest hundred. That's two decimal places, right, of a year. So the, I think the easiest thing to do is say, okay, well, let's find us a base. Base is, is going to double every 10 years, so that's 2 raised to the 1 over 10, right? And the reason why it's 1 over 10 is because if you think about it, uh, the year would be in the numerator, and you're dividing it by 10, so every every 10 portions of 10 that it's going to double but we're doing it by the base so basically you get a base of uh, 1.0718 now now you could take this and we go okay there's a million and we're starting out with 50,000 rodents right um 1.0718 raised to the T. We need to find out how long it's going to take for the 50,000 um, rats to get to a million. Well, first thing we do is divide both sides by 50,000. And when we do that, we get 20 equals um, 1.0718, right? 
raised to the T. All right. Now we've got next we've we've got an exponential, and the only other choices that we have is to oh, excuse me. Um, basically. If we can get the bases to be the same, then we can set the exponents, but we're not, you know, we can't, we can't do that. So what we're going to do is, the easiest thing is, is we're just going to take the log of both sides. And when we do that, we're going to also bring that t out to the very front. Okay, so let me rewrite it as this. Move this down a little bit. The log of 20 equals t times the log of 1.0718. Now we're going to turn around and we're going to divide both sides because solving for time, right? 1.0718, both sides. That's a seven, yeah. All right, so, so this cancels, it leaves me with t equals the log of 20 divided by the log of 1.0718. And ladies and gentlemen, when you do that, you get uh, 43.2038. Now, but it said it wanted to have, let's see, our answer to the nearest hundreds of a year. So we would say that time would be equal to 43.20 years, right? All right. So um, let's do one more, and then we will um, we'll be that we'll be done with part one. That'll be enough for you to. Do part one. All right. Half life of a radioactive substance is 13.8 hours. What is the hourly decay rate? Uh, express it in four decimal places. Well, you know they're wanting K. All right. So they're wanting K. The reason they're wanting K is um, they are uh, going back to this equation, right? Where you got Y equals because it's radioactive half-life, A sub zero, E to the KT, and the K is the decay rate. Well, there's a really cool equation if you want to use. It's called uh, negative natural log of 2 divided by T. And T is how long does it, uh, is its half-life, okay? If we know how long its half-life is, then we can find its decay rate. And they're putting a negative because it's decaying. Okay, so just kind of know that. Uh, natural log of 2 divided by 13.8. Okay, equals. When you do that, um, you're getting uh, negative 0. Point, and I'm just, I'm applying the negative after I get done with it because it's these natural log of 2 divided by 13.8 will give me a positive number, and I'm just applying the negative because I know it's got to be a decay. So negative 0 0.0502, okay? So this concludes section 6.7, part one video.